I think I need solitude when I'm photographing to be able to concentrate well and truly and wholly on, on what I'm doing, what I'm trying to achieve with, with a photograph. I uh, woke up at, I don't know, must, must, must have been quarter to four in the morning and I'd always been wondering why do I bother taking photographs? Um, because if it's being photographed, it means it's somebody else's pre preconceived idea of what that object looks like, or that place looks like. Whereas if you go to it yourself, you will see it quite different. It made me realise just how many times the clay industry has dropped into my life. Um, started out as a youngster growing up in Roach, which is one of the Perhaps more pleasant clay villages, not everyone would agree with me, certainly not my wife, but um, yeah. Um, I can remember these trucks with these galvanised shuck things on the back of the trucks where, where, where the men were picked up to go, go to work in the clay industry and fetch back home in the afternoon. And, and I, I just thought, oh, imagine having to sit in this dark, horrible place uh, on, on the way to work. Um, okay, well, first of all, I'll tell you that when we first moved here, which was about 30 years ago, we had a choice of moving into housing in the clay area or outside the clay area. And it was interesting that there was a marked difference in pricing and that the, the actual estate agent business was divided into clay area and non-clay area. We ended up living on the edge of what was defined as the clay area. From my memories, back in the 70s, you know, everything was very white. They didn't have much colour. Everything was white. The, 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 uh, all, the, all the pyramids were white. They didn't have anything growing on them. But I remember there was some talk about them doing experiments to get vegetation to grow on top of the, basically, the slag heap, something. Um, so that was quite, quite new back in its day. And he said, I've had enough bloody clay to last a lifetime. He'd worked in the clay industry. He wasn't well after it, whether it was, you know, chest or have you, we don't know. In the photograph where I've got a brush or a sack or in the photograph where I, I just a, a cupboard door with a bit of string on it, the subject matter sort of becomes irrelevant. And it occurred to me that really what I'm trying to do is create visual poetry. You just can't escape the uh, China clay industry in this, this part of Cornwall. It, it's there smacking you in the face, in the eyes all the time. Well the pit's what I expected it to look like because I live very close to one that was working when I, I moved in. Um, I am surprised at all the trees that are in the trails um, and I, I do like the way some of the sort of spoil heaps have got trees growing out of them and it's sort of you can't keep nature down it will cover everything eventually. Mm. Uh, I find the lines, uh, shade, shadows etc etc uh, appeals to me. Um, uh, and has a different appeal at different times during the day. And also, if you were to go into the vegetation, not that there, but in the valleys and in between the, the mounds, so to speak, uh, in the quarry areas, you find hidden gems, you know, the, the hidden lakes and, and so on and so on and so on. And I just find that, you know, things like that appeal. So it was interesting walking up to the top of the pit just to see how the landscape is folding in on the pit. Um, so the trees and the bushes are growing right into the, where the workings used to be. had three occasions of having to go to John Key House and uh, help them with their, their large redundancies. Uh, two of the occasions I was managing it, advising, setting up appointments for them, etc. Um, the first occasion, 3,500 men they were losing, which was just massive and had a huge impact on the area. It must have been devastating when they laid off thousands of people. And I do know several people who work in the clay industry. Most of them dislike working in the clay industry. They get up in the morning not wanting to go to work. Um, they also feel rather insecure about their jobs. This part of Cornwall would be very, very different if it wasn't for the clay industry. Um... Well, I'm just taking pictures of what I like taking pictures of. I do, however, much to my wife's disapproval, quite like the clay tips because I have a sort of artistic uh, affiliation with them if you like. I feel like a tourist in my hometown because this has been on my back doorstep and I've never ever been here. Um, my father-in-law worked in the, in the clay industry um, and I'm, apart 
apart from seeing the large quarries as you sort of drive along in the cars, that was the only, and, and the clay pits, uh, the, uh, the pyramids, um, that was the only aspect I knew of it. I right. didn't know anything.